Okay, this is going to be a uh, video on how to hook up a 12 volt DC electric trailer jack to a Coleman 17B. Uh, as you can see, I've pre prepped, I've got the uh, trailer tongue level, I've got the jack all the way up, I have a lift underneath the tongue holding the tongue up off the ground and uh, the next thing I'm going to do is uh, grab a wrench and uh, remove the old jack. Okay equipped with a 9 16 socket I'm going to remove these three bolts that are holding the old jack in place. Now with the uh, three bolts removed it's simple enough to pull that jack stand right out and we're ready to install the new one. Now, to make my life easier, I did use a socket wrench with a long extension so that I was above the uh, jack stand when I put it in. As you can see, the new one fits right in place. And now I'm going to tighten these three bolts down tight. I've decided to orientate it so that the switch is facing the front. But if you have clearance problems with your tailgate, you could always rotate it uh, about 66 degrees either way. And that way, um, you would, th this area here would, could clear your tailgate of your truck if that would, were a problem. But as of right now, I think with the vehicle I pull it with, I should be fine putting it this way. So I'm going to tighten these screws down, and then I'll get back to you uh, as I get ready to route the electrical back to the battery which is here okay last but not least is this wiring up to the battery as this cord came down from here and i took the black wire put a spake put a connector on it and i put a wing nut on top of the post same thing over here with the white lead going to the negative post so white is ground on a trailer and black is the positive lead going to the uh, unit don't cross these two so make sure you go white to negative and, and black to positive it goes back up to here to the front and lo and behold we have a light and there it is that's all there is to it so three bolts running a wire connected to your battery and you have a very nice power hitch set up for your uh, unit. Now I did do read it. There is a, a circuit breaker in this unit. If you don't have a circuit breaker on that motor, then what you want to do is um, definitely um, make sure you put a 30 amp fuse between there. But since this does have a circuit breaker, I don't need to do that. Um, it's wired, works fine. Oh, and the other thing I didn't mention, make sure you do chalk the wheels on your trailer before you do this. Uh, just to ensure that it doesn't move. And again, uh, now that I've got it in place, you can see the old jack. You can see the uh, jack that I held held the trailer up with. Just drop it down. That's all there is to it. So that is the simple way of putting in a power jack on the Coleman B17B. Uh, here she is in all her beauty. All right. Thank you very much. I'm Jimmy Dean. I do sell more than sausage. And uh, you have a great day and enjoy the ride.